DJI just released their Avada V2 and it is taking the drone world by storm. However, Cadex just released this and there's no way a company like that could threaten DJI's dominance of the airspace, could they? Like, is it is it really that good? That's what we're here to find out. G'day, Stu here from UAV Futures, and today we're gonna be looking at something that you drone enthusiasts out there desperately need to take note of. This is the GoFilm 20, and it is Cadex's new answer to the Avada V2. It's doing some things differently, uh, it's a different form factor, all that sort of stuff. We're gonna break it down, look at the text and the specs, and show you the important parts you need to know before you make any purchase, whether it be Cadex or DJI, if you are interested in getting some of the best drone shots out there. As well, uh, something I like about this one is having a lot of fun. So let's do it. Let's put this on the bench, get it in shot in the roof cam, and some important parts I want to mention. This, it is a tiny form factor. It is only weighing 115 grams. It is absolutely tiny. And some of the stars of the show, you will see there's three pieces that I think make this quite special. Uh, of course, we've got some really nice camera protection and mounting on the front and a beautiful little ND filter if you're one of the cinematographers out there that knows how to use that. It has a really well designed little cage. It protects everything. You're not gonna cut any fingers, damage any property or anything like that. And if we flip it over, the real tech, the real star of the show is Cadex's new Moonlight camera. If you don't know about the history between Cadex and DJI, well, it's a little bit of a spicy battle, I might say, but there's definitely some very cool tech in here. You're getting some great HD footage as well, streaming back to you, a very solid choice in the world of FPV drones. Now, I've got mine hooked up right here to my Cadex Goggle Xs, and one of the big things I would say about this, if you are considering Cadex, versus DJI, the backwards compatibility or the compatibility between different models and makes and VTXs and transmission things is Cadex is much more future-proof. They are thinking about like what their people have already purchased, how they can move it into the future without having to buy a whole new rig, where DJI, they tend to be a little bit more skeptical or a little bit more closed-minded when it comes to opening things up. Often you will find a VTX or a video transmitter from DJI will not work with current tech. And I understand that sometimes there is limitations, but also uh, they might hold back or hold some features until they reach a certain amount of sales or something like that before opening it up. And it doesn't feel that way with Cadex. Now mine was so easy to get set up and get flying. Uh, unlike DJI, there was no registration or anything like that I had to do. The biggest thing was trying to find out what size battery this takes because in the instructions, it says a 4S battery uh, should be fully charged, but it doesn't actually say the recommended specs. So a 600, after I contacted them, about a 600 milliamp hour battery is what is recommended. Now it doesn't come with a battery and that could be a good thing or a bad thing. If you're one of those people who likes DJI and you like to buy all their batteries that suit just that individual craft, this is not gonna be for you. However, if you're like me, I kind of prefer being able to choose my own battery, my own size, and cater my craft to what I want it to do. And it means there's no proprietary lockouts or anything like that. Any of my batteries that are 4S will be the correct voltage for this. Finding it was ridiculously easy. I simply had to plug my battery in three times, and then I went into my radio and I pressed what was called the bind function in here. It was very easy, like this quick start guide could not be <laughs> any shorter. It really is a quick start guide. It bound up straight away. I did have to plug it into my computer for about one minute in order to set up my switches. So things like your angle mode, your buzzer, your flip over after crash, all those extra features that come with beta flight and the great flight experience, you probably need to spend about 10 seconds on the computer setting those up. If you don't know how, I've got an amazing guide here. It is some of the easiest stuff you can do. Now in terms of something I think that is important, it is using ELRS, which means you're not gonna have any range issues or anything like that. It is absolutely phenomenal when it comes to it's flying as well. Now you should be able to see some footage of this thing buzzing around the house or a little sneak peek somewhere or it's full screen. Thank you very much editing and YouTube. But because I live in Australia and I also want to give you the best review that you deserve, that means this thing, I haven't had it for too long. And because of the embargoes and everything like that, Cadex says, hey, we want to release it this time and this is when it's going to go live, all that sort of stuff. But I want to do everybody justice. Yes, I want to put the product out there so people can see and Cadex is like, hey, thanks very much for doing the work. But also I want to give you the best review that you deserve. And I don't want to make a decision based on just a couple of days of flying this thing. So in the part two, we're going to go out to the field. We're going to fly it around. We're going to be having a lot more packs through it. I'll give you my, I guess, full rundown on how it flies, the 
sorts of footage, all that sort of stuff. And also a huge shout out to Steve. We'll catch up with him and we'll get his impressions as well because he is a top-notch pilot that has recently moved over from analog to digital. So if you're one of those, his input will be invaluable. And uh, that's because I wanna give you the best review that you deserve. Now, in the meantime, uh, go watch this video. This is my 1,000th video on how we got started and basically got to these. And trust me, you're not gonna be disappointed. All right, see you in part two.